What's up guys? Today we are watching episode 8 of The Last of Us. So, last episode, Ellie was basically taking care of Joel while he was injured, and Joel was trying to tell her to just leave him where he is, but that just basically pushed her into the flashback of the story between her and Riley. Learning that whole story last episode, it made me so sad. Like, the last thing I thought would have happened was that, like, they both got bit. But it's also even more traumatic kind of seeing that she survived while I'm pretty sure Riley didn't. So, mm -hmm. but after seeing that whole thing, or, like, replaying the flashback, she basically decided to still, like, stay with Joel. And I'm happy that she did, because if she left, he's most likely gonna die so hopefully he's not going to but we're gonna see so i guess let's get into the episode voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of god is with men are we back to where tommy was staying because it kind of looks like it but i don't I think it might be. When can we bury him? So I'm assuming a family member died. So like dad, brother, uncle. The ground is too cold to dig. We'll bury your father in the spring. So it was her dad. But then also that's still ass. Not being able to bury him because... And like having to wait. Where are they going to hold his body? How much do we have left? Venison. Elk, rabbit. Keep the whole town on rations. Maybe a week. Two at best. So are they going to have to, like, start killing people so they could preserve more medicine since they don't have as much? Or am I tripping? Because I know people would usually do that, but I don't know how these people are. But I need to know you're with me. Yeah. What would have happened if he said no? Not that I thought he would, but the dude doesn't seem so threatening, but you know, looks can be deceiving. I totally forgot that Ellie stitched him up. Ugh. I hate that, but at least she helped. Why do I feel like she's about to do something? Is she about to go, like, keep watch? I mean, I guess it would be smart, but... Bye-bye, <sighs> bunny. Unless she misses... Or it runs away. Okay. But then again, they need food. So... That's bigger than a rabbit. So, if she gets that, I swear... It might be a lucky shot. I don't know. No fucking way. So she hit it. How far is it gonna run until it falls? Well, what do you think? 
I don't see anybody. You think we can just take it? So they're gonna take what Ellie shot? You, that's, that's sad. She clearly shot that shit. Drop your rifles! Now! Hell yeah, Allie. Get what the hell you shot. I'm from a large group too. Also hungry. Well, even so, you can't drag this back on your own. Oh my god. That is... You need, we have... Boots. Medicine? Oh my god. Like for infections. They're lacking medicine. Bring back two bottles and a syringe. It's not code, James. Do as I said. It seemed like it would be code, but I guess he's actually gonna do a trade. It's fair, so... You know, you really shouldn't be out here all on your own. From where I'm sitting, you shouldn't be out here on your own. She also has no other choice since the person she's with is injured. Weird cult thing. Uh, well, you sort of kind of got me there. I am a preacher, but just pretty standard Bible stuff. He really doesn't seem harmless at all, but I feel like he's going to switch up. Math. Talk kids about your age. So you went from teacher to preacher because what, it fucking rhymes? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh God. That crazy man was traveling with a little girl. You see? Oh wait, so they killed her father? She is the one that killed Alec, didn't she? She didn't kill anybody. What did I say? It seemed too good to be true. He didn't seem that intimidating or whatever, but look at him now. So he didn't actually go. So they're gonna take the, the thing, the deer. I know you're not with a group. You won't survive for long out there. I can protect you. So she's straight up leaving the deer now. I guess she really doesn't have a choice because I seem he in a way still seems harmless but it's like why invite her into the group like that like the daughter of the dude that uh, Joel killed is there so there's gonna be some beef you know Joel Joel where the fuck do I put this No, no, no. I don't want to watch that go into skin. <laughs> the thingy seems gone, so I guess he ate the thing that she left, but she went hunting and came back with nothing. Uh. What is it? Venison. Medicine? Are they gonna feed that to people and they gonna die? Because why else would that man say medicine? But then again, medicine can either be good or bad, so... Yes, we found a girl who was with the man who took Alec from us. When the sun rises, I'll lead a group out to pick up her trail. Won't be hard to find in the snow. Damn, so they're gonna go after her? And Joel? That's not even your kid. And you hit her? But the truth is, Hannah, you will always have a father. And you will show him respect when he's speaking. Are you talking about you? Um, I don't think so.
what if they're feeding him like the medicine thing and then like they kill him that'd be a twist At least it doesn't look like it's getting any worse, so that should be a plus. She should not be outside right now, because with that garage open, that's going to give them a clear giveaway as to where they're staying, but she also doesn't know that they're after her. But shouldn't she have a hunch? There you go. So you gotta run back and close that shit. Joel, Joel, wake up. Joel, wake the fuck up, Joel. Oh my god. Oh, so he's up. I'm gonna lead them away from you. But if anybody makes it down here, you fucking kill them. You got it? Don't you not fall asleep. How is that man gonna be able to protect himself when he can barely move? Unless, like, he'll get some adrenaline going or something. But at least he seems like he's holding it, so... I just feel like now they're gonna get separated, so... So then what's gonna happen? Alive! They're gonna shoot the horse. I think. Keep coming, fuckers. What did I say? You so hungry for vengeance? Deliver it. So they did just shoot the horse, but it's like, could you really get knocked out from flying off of a horse that quick? I don't know. I guess so. You got the stroll. I'm happy you're at least awake so you can hear them so that's always a plus it's just how are your fighting skills how are they gonna be because you weren't injured so man got up okay where'd you go that quickly too like i guess since you're like fighting for your life you have to there you go joel okay because at first i was kind of scared because i thought you were still gonna be laying on the bed and you know knife gun he could shoot you from far away you need to be up close but that's what you did. You got up and you got up close. So hell yeah. I know that must have hurt, especially after the fact. Hey, the goal. Hungry? Why am I in a cage? Because I'm afraid of you. You're a dangerous person. You've certainly proven that. So are you, bro. Like, what's your point? For you is a beginning. But if you can't find a way to trust me, then yes, you are alone. How is she going to trust you after you basically just kidnapped her? You're forcing her to go with you. Why would she trust you? Oh, shit. 
Hell yeah, Joel. Okay. I didn't expect him to be up and moving so quickly. But I mean, what else could he do? You gotta survive. Oh, no, 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 no. He can't help you. You focus right here, or I'll pop your fucking kneecap off. Okay. He's just trying to get her back, you know? Oh, fight! Fight! Oh, the town! What town? Silver Lake. Ah. He said the town as if he's supposed to know which town man's talking about. Not lying. Ah! No! No! Oh. Shit! Jesus! You know you're gonna be next. Like, I low-key kind of feel bad, but... Be what else was he gonna do? Just leave y'all there? Well, I guess he could've. I'm telling you shit. It's okay. No. I believe him. No! <laughs> okay, then. Another reason as to why she ain't gonna trust you. You're gonna chop me up into little pieces. I'd rather not. Please just tell me your name. Wait a second. Judge you? You're eating people, you sick fuck! The food that he gave them early, like the other dude gave them earlier and he said that was medicine, he, that's a, that was another person? I don't think your friend would either. Didn't he take another man's life to save yours? He was defending himself. He was defending you. But also himself. You think he was just gonna like let himself get killed? What do you expect? Do. If I let you out of that cage right now? Put that knife of yours in your hand. You'd stick me in a second. You have a violent heart. As she should. I can tell the others to stop looking for him. They'll spare him. Really? They don't have to, cause they're all dead. Imagine the life we could build. Nope. Don't trust the man. Is she about to do something? Ow! 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 I had a feeling. Little girl who broke her fucking finger! How did you put it? Hmm? Tiny little pieces? So that's what they're gonna plan on doing to you, since you don't want to join them. I'm guessing. Because of how he said that. But like, hmm. Oh, that's where they put the horse. I thought they took the horse with them. Oh wait, but they're dead, so how would they? What the fuck? No, I'm infected! I'm infected. <laughs> and now, sir. Oh, she's gonna play that card. What did you say? Everything happens for a reason, right? David. <laughs> oh, God. They don't know what to think of it.
she stabbed that man on the neck. I thought she got shot. I guess he's gonna be the next male since he's dead already. Burn that place down. Really? I know you're not infected. No one infected fights this hard to stay alive. So then it works for a second. Well, I have news for you. Neither one of us is dying today. You sure about that, sir? Ellie. At least she got him. I thought you already knew. The fighting is the part I like the most. Don't be afraid. <laughs> That is the most violent I have ever seen her, but as she should, because she was gonna get eaten. Like, that's terrifying to go through. No! Get out of me! Get out of me! No! Yeah! Oh, so he found her. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby girl. I got you. <laughs> that is so cute. I love that. My God. What even was that episode? <laughs> After Ellie got taken, I swear to God, I thought, like, I didn't think Joel would find her. I thought Joel would still be, you know, recovering since he was basically passed out whenever she left him. Like, how did he do that all so fast? Like, was the adrenaline rush? You know, like, I'm kind of guessing that it is. And I guess, like, the medicine has also been working. But it's like... I didn't think he would find her this episode. Like, Loki, I thought it would end with, like, her still being there somehow and him looking for her. And I thought all of next episode would be him trying to find her or something. But, like... What was that? I swear, medicine, whenever the dude gave them the pieces and said medicine, I thought, like, like how they were talking earlier, since there's, like, not a lot of food left and, like, not a lot of medicine, I thought they, that they were going to, like, kill off people. And, like, that's basically what they've been doing since, you know. But I thought they were just going to kill a lot of people like with the food and then like be like done with it but no by medicine they were giving them mm. that is disgusting oh my god and to see the bodies in that barn oh my god i hate that and dude was so weird and like his reasoning his reasoning kind of made sense, but it's also still like thinking about it. That is mm, like, I don't even know how to feel about the situation because it's like, again, what are you supposed to do? But also, are you really going to feed them people without even telling them? 
they don't know that they are possibly eating someone that they knew. Ugh. I hate even thinking about that. That reminds me of freaking the movie Fresh with Sebastian Stan. Oh my god. And she was, she was about to get eaten since she wasn't cooperating. They were going to kill her and she would have been one of those bodies strung up. Ugh, I hate, I hate that. I am just glad she's okay now. And in that last scene, whenever she was killing dude, that's the most violent I've ever seen her. But again, as she should, she ain't trying to get eaten. No one's trying to get eaten. So what else are you going to do? She was protecting herself. I'm glad dude's dead. He seemed like a bitch anyway. He hit the little girl. Like, why? No, I hate it. Forget him. I'm glad he's dead. Yeah, we met a new character, and yeah, they ended up dead by the end of the episode. And you know what? I'm okay with it. This time. Because he deserved it. Because that's weird. Like, sorry dude, but... With the way the episode ended though, it's like... What do I even question about the last episode? Because next episode is last episode... All we saw was them walking off into the distance, so what are they going to do now? They escaped that. I don't know what other kind of plan that they're going to try and do. Like, I don't know what to question. I don't know. I guess come back for episode 9 because I don't even know. Again, I don't know what to question, so come back for episode 9. <laughs>